Hey everybody, Steve here, and I've got uh, SDR Trunk uh, running successfully on my laptop here, and you can see that it's uh, decoding P25-1. And it's actually working pretty decent right now, but um, if I can show you, if you look at my CPU, it's uh, running at 100 plus percent. So, and that's generating a lot of overflows. So I'm missing probably more than 50% of what's going on. What I've decided to do is reinstall everything on my desktop, which I'm gonna do and I'm gonna record every step of it so that you can see. All right, so let's jump to the desktop and get started. Okay, so we are on the machine now, and we're going to um, go to uh, D. Shear's uh, GitHub. hope I pronounced his name correctly. It's uh, github.com slash D-S-H-E-I-R-E-R. -E of course, the link uh, to this will be in the description of the video. Um, we're going to install SDR trunk, and then in order to um, decode the P25 signals, we need to install this JMBE. Um, there are some prerequisites. Uh, there, if you watch my video on installing GQRX on a Raspberry Pi, there's a bunch of things that you need to install prior to getting to this point. For example, you need to install Git, you need to install CMake, uh, Build Essentials, uh, the USB library. Uh, and then when you go to install GQRX, uh, you get a whole bunch of uh, repositories uh, that are beneficial to SDR, including uh, GNU Radio and a whole bunch of other stuff that will make things go smoothly for you. So the assumption at this very point is that uh, if you're at a prompt like I am, you've got your dongle or dongles plugged in, you should be able to do something like RTL underscore test. And there you can see a standard uh, RTL SDR. And if you've got a hack RF, you can see the information for the hack RF. Okay, moving along. Also, uh, just to show you, um, we're going to need Java, which is not installed yet. How about Java C? Not installed yet, and Ant. Not installed yet. So I wanted to show you these things because uh, we're starting clean. So this is going to be a nice clean install, and we're going to start with uh, SDR trunk. So here we are at the SDR trunk. Most important thing to do throughout this whole process, it is a long process. There's a bunch of stuff to do, but if we follow each step, step by step, and don't get overzealous and skip steps, we should be fine. So here's SR SDR trunk, and let's just click on the getting started. Um, I'm going to go to the setup for Linux, and here's our directions. We need the Java JRE version from Oracle. Now there's a shortcut for this, and there it is: sudo apt get install default JRE. And it's going to install 99 megabytes worth of stuff. So we'll just say yes. And when it's done, you can do a, a Java version. And you can see we're at 1.8.0.131. And we're good. So let's see what we got next. And that is a shortcut from doing it this way. So moving along, we're going to download SDR trunk app and go to download. And this says do not use. All right, so we're going to skip down one. And it says it requires JMBE uh, for P25 digital audio. We're going to get to that next. But for now, let's go straight to the download SDR trunk beta 12. And I'm doing it for Linux, so I'm going to grab the tar. And I'll click on it and say file. And it's a small file, so it's already done. It's in the downloads folder. 
So moving back here, I'm going to ls for list. There's my downloads folder, so I'll cd into the downloads folder. And list what's in the downloads folder, and there's the tar. So I'm highlighting it, and then I'm going to copy it. And then what I need to do is I need to extract the tar. And the way I'm going to do that is sudo tar, and then I have to give it some parameters. And those parameters, if I remember correctly, are extract verbose, um, and then show us all the files that come out of it, I think is what the XVZF is. So we're going to paste, paste that, and it's already, it already hit enter, or it, it did enter for me. So if I list, there's my SDR trunk right there. Now I can get rid of the, uh, uh, the GZ if I want to, because it's just a zip file, uh, and I can do that by to remove .gz. Star.gz just gets rid of everything in the folder. That might end in gz. It's a lot easier than typing all that stuff. And then if we list the folder again, we've got just got the SDR trunk. Back up a folder now, and now I'm back in my um, home directory. And I want to get the SDR trunk out of downloads as well. And I pop back into uh, pop back into downloads and list, there's SDR trunk. So what I want to do is I want to um, sudo move directory SDR trunk. And I want to tell it where I want it to move it to into my home slash SS. So it's in my home. Oh, it's just move. And if we ls in the downloads, there's nothing there, but if we back up a directory, we should see SDR trunk. And there it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to venture in SDR trunk by cd SDR trunk. Hello. And ls. Go back to the directions. This number four is part of what I did in the first video, so it should be done already. And we're going to run the script by just typing in this. Copy, we'll go back to here, make sure we're in the right directory, and paste. That dot slash uh, just tells uh, the terminal to run it. So if we hit run, we get a whole bunch of stuff, it fires up. And if we look here, it loaded my RTL and it loaded that as well. So we now have a functioning SDR trunk and if we go to tuners and I select one of my tuners uh, and then I can select a station say something that's analog because we don't have the P25 yet. These are just the defaults right here that's good. I'm just going to jump over to channels and I'm going to do a new channel and then the source is tuner. The decoder is uh, narrowband FM because I'm just going to an analog. And I need to pick a channel, I need to pick a channel. Source, here we go. So if I go right here, I can type in 162. I'm just doing this with the keyboard. 475-000. Enter. And then I need to enable the channel. So it's not perfect, but you can hear this is my local weather. And we can refine that. Now, turn it down. We're going to get back to uh, fine tuning uh, SDR trunk and using it, uh, but it's way cooler with the P25 portion uh, incorporated. So, so I'm going to do JMB. I'm going to incorporate the JMBE uh, P25 decoder first, and then we'll come back into the application itself and play. All right. So let's get on to the next step.